Okay, is it working now? I am so sorry. I was doing some stuff last evening and I guess I messed up. I did some stuff with the headphones on and I guess I uh, messed up and forgot to put this microphone back on. I hope you can hear me now. I can see that I, I have sound. So, once again, Happy Easter for the ones of you who are celebrating it. Um, I wasn't afeard, uh, aware that it was Easter for the Western world until last evening. <laughs> because uh, for the some ones of you who don't know, I was raised Eastern Orthodox. And sometimes the Easter's do coincide, but that would be every several years. And that is because one of them uses the Julian calendar and the other one uses the Gregorian calendar. So it's pretty much the first Sunday after the first full moon after the spring equinox. So depending on which calendar they use, usually the Eastern Orthodox Easter is later than the Western one, sometimes up to a month. I think that one time it was even five weeks but uh, anyway i'm going of course with what's going on around me so i thought what a cuter way to uh, uh, to have some fun for easter for whoever is here and is not out spending it with family or uh, in church or uh, whatever they are doing because I don't know how honestly I haven't been to a, any kind of Western Christianity um, Eastern Mass so I don't know how it is I know how it is in Eastern Orthodox but I don't know how it is in, in the Western Christianity so for whoever is here let's play and make some bunnies and I will make a few of different uh, levels of uh, expertise some that would be easier and I forgot to grab me the round Just a second. I forgot how to um, to get me the round cutters okay so, uh, the easiest way would be to use these cutters and I'm going to make them a little bit larger as usual so that uh, you won't have issues seeing what I'm doing. And these would be, this is the um, Sculpey, the Primo set, but you can also use the Makings one that only has three of them these two they are you can find them both on polyclay play and in my amazon influencer store uh, you can look in my amazon influencer store you can look in the cutter section or you can also use in the flowers and veiners section 
but these would be the ones that you should use the most so this would be a water lily and this if i'm not mistaken is a rose cutter so uh the way that you're going you can use one of these but you can also use and I, of course i forgot to get those two you're gonna need a teardrop so depending on how large you want to use it again i'm going to make them a little bit bigger than normal but your best bet would be to use a camper cutter teardrop if you want to make like earrings and stuff but as a general idea you measure as i said i'm going to use them large you measure for the teardrop and you want the fatter teardrop the camper cutters are a fatter teardrop than the regular uh, makings or uh, primo teardrop cutters that's why i'm using the rose petal cutter so what you want to measure it has to be pretty much close to going in twice not entirely twice but almost because you see in this one it would go twice the teardrop but i want it to go a little bit less than twice because i'm going to have some extra so what we want is one round two teardrops and then I'm going to use two water lilies and for a smaller one you can actually just Cut it out with your exacto knife. Okay, so these are the pieces that we need. And I'm going to use white clay, a pinch of blush for the nose and the pinch of black for the eyes so we have the round but before doing anything else i'm going to show you how to make the eyes and for the eyes you can use one of the itty bitty cutters and it's entirely up to you what size you want but so this would be the the classic bunny a very classic bunny so I'm going to place I'm going to make two flats so first I'm making them round and then I'm flattening them as much as possible and I'll grab them off and then grab a 
Grab a little bit of cling wrap. Place it on top here. And you can actually roll over a little bit so that your black will be completely flat in the white. Oops. Me. But make sure that you have no wrinkles in the cling wrap. And then I'm going to grab the cutter and just go in a little bit. You don't go more than a bit. You don't want to cut. You just want to make a, a little bit of depth actually go zoomed in a little and the pinch darker okay this should be good okay then I'm going to grab the teardrops and gently lift the top of the head this is a uh, something that is neat to do with kids And on this side, we are going to use a little bit of blush. And I'm going to get some on very, very thin. And then use my exacto to get two. Remember when I said that you can do these cuts for the years with your exacto knife without a problem? So this first one is pretty much a children project. Okay, I forgot I zoomed in. So, place the pink. And then all you have to do is to just place this here, then grab a little bit of pink. Make a bead out of it. And then make it more triangular. And then simply place it here. And then all else we have to do is to make a couple little teeth. I think it's a little too zoomed in. So again, make a bead, roll it. And then simply cut it in two. You don't want them to be too big. So put a side half, then the other half. 
cut it in to like this and then you can go triangular triangular I guess the triangular needs to be even more angled and then simply place them here You know what? Let's make it easier than this. Let's make a teardrop. Well, now I know that there is a sound here soon. <laughs> okay, bead, teardrop. Got teardrop. Place teardrop here. then simply make a cut in the middle and there we go we have one little bunny now let's get this to the side and de decombobulate it and let's make a kawaii one Helps if you use the sharp part. And I'm going to cut these off completely so I can reuse the white. Oh, yeah, you got. Uh, you replayed the beginning. I had an issue in the beginning. All right, so now we are going to make a kawaii one. Let me get again through the pasta machine. But of course, you're going to go much smaller than what I did if you want to do earrings and stuff like that. And it helps if you get your machine back to thick. Okay, and I wanted to show you a trick, but that's going to be after the kawaii. Uh, generally, the kawaii, and I made before, um, with various occasions, like Halloween witches and ghosts and all kinds of stuff like that. So, I'm going, you always cut, because you're starting from beads and you want them to be even so you're going to go with this and then with a smaller one for the ears so these go into beads let me zoom out a little bit more even And uh, for the next one after this, I don't know how many of you have seen the 
the earrings that uh, look like there's little kittens hanging like this from your ear you can make bunnies like that too and we are going to make a pair of that as well so we start with beads these are for oops these are for dropping them on the floor apparently let me grab another we are supposed to have some rain in the vicinity this afternoon so i guess the barometer started dropping so i'm dropping things too so there's that okay so we start with beads and make the bead until you don't see any more folding line and then we have now the smaller one that I cut and this one we are going to cut in four and use just one half that is two quarters that we are going to make into beads as well for the years each of these beads will be two years okay so first remember when i told you how to make a tear a tear bead go from round and then you bring it to the edge of your palms and you get a tear there we go and the other one round and then bring it to the edge of your palms and tear and now we are going to cut each of them in two and when we are cutting them they are going to become narrower and a pinch taller so i'm using uh, this silicone tipped tool that is one of the best things to use for sculpting and I'm going to bring each of them and make a dip here exactly on the cut Now, uh, to make a bunny very cute, I don't know how many of you have seen very young bunnies. Bunnies, when they get born, they are ugly as heck. Their head is about twice as long as their body and they barely have any ears. So, as they grow, their body grows faster than their head so it starts looking normal and also their ears start growing more but a very young bunny will have fairly short ears not like a, an adult bunny so to make the bunnies very kawaii you want to use the heck is my no i'm not gonna use that uh you want to use relatively shorter years so once we do that we need to cut a little bit of sorry i'm trying to find a good my wax carvers uh, your main thing whenever you do this kind of earrings you're going to your best bet so you don't have to work too much and uh, uh, mess up any of whatever you do you want to make a little dip for wherever you're going to place your eye screw 
that you're going to use for bail. And your best bet for any earrings that involve anything on top here is to put the eye screw, to put a little chain between the eye screw and the ear wire. So I'm, these will be my um, hole for the eye screw. And then I'm going to make yeah, my my clay is getting a little dirty if I would work normally if I would make sure that everything is super clean if I work with white so I'm going to make a few a couple of little holes here and then grab this and partially place them in here but you want them to go in because otherwise there, there won't be a lot of uh, traction to keep them firmly in place and you want to gently fold one of the ears and of course on the other one you're going to fold the, the opposite one now, I'm going to use a pinch of blush. And gently triangularize it. You can do that or you can simply make a little bead gently flatten not a lot and then come with an exacto knife and cut a bit let me know if you want me to zoom more and then place it here now once again I'm going to use the little the bitty cutters and once again I'm going to take a little bit of black cut it in two so I would have even eyes then each of them make into a bead and flatten it same for this. Now remember the principle of getting all those kawaii looking things is to elevate the nose or if you don't have a nose the mouth as close to the level of the eyes. So I'm going to place these eyes pretty much on each side of the nose just barely above and then once again I'm getting a little bit of white teardrop it this time I'm kind of doing more of a wedgy thing. Once again, shorten it because you don't want them very big. Then place it right under the nose. Now it's still too big. It has to be tiny, tiny. I'm still making it a little bit bigger than I would make the earrings like this. Place it right under the nose and cut it in two. Oops, cut it too much. <laughs> I cut it all the way. Hold on, let me make it once again. Okay. Small. Place it. And then um, 
we do the let me zoom in more so you can see how it looks like so this would be another way of making little bunnies now for the next ones as I said I'm going to go in degrees of difficulty these are still considered fairly easy let me discombobulate these And we are going to make the hanging bunnies. For the hanging bunnies, we start with a bead that's about three quarters of an inch in diameter. And this one. <clears throat> Excuse me. You can make it more overloy to be easier to cut. And we cut it first in half. And again, it helps if you cut with the sharp side. And then one of the ha halves, we cut it in half again. Now, one half, make it in a bead, and then ovalize it a little bit. The second one, make it in a bead. And cut in half. I don't know what's my problem today. I keep cutting with the wrong. And then one of them cut again in half. So you get three quarters and make it in a bead. But this one you keep round. And place it kind of sort of like this almost like if you were making a duck and you want it to be gently flattened and then the other one the other quarter I mean eighth because we cut that in Is that an eighth it's a sixteenth of the original bead okay cut in half and one of them cut it in half again so the ones that are cut in half again we make beads and long teardrop And then gently make the inside and then just a pinch of, of a cut here all the way in the back and you make them like this let me know if you think you need to see more zoomed in or lighter or whatever I turned it fairly dark because I'm working with white and I didn't want the white to get lost the 
but the details to get lost. So insert the ears here and then gently Okay, I didn't insert this one very good. It helps if I put my eyeglasses on, but I just didn't. And then bring them down. And then the other half of the smaller bead, just round it up a little bit. And this will be the little cotton tail. Now with this one, we still have a quarter of the original bead. And once again, make a bead and cut in four. quarters get them into longish beads and these will go I'm going to make two uh, two holes here Actually, you can make another sculpting thing. And on these, you glue the the little post for the okay I made a mess just a second these need to be bigger My thing is that one of them is longer than the other. I didn't cut properly. I'm gonna cut off. Hi, Francis. How's the weather where you are? Did you have any tornadoes when, with all that horrible storm front that you guys had there? Okay, and these ones just go on the sides here. So this will be like this. I know you cannot see a lot of detail right now but here comes the post you're going to glue the post of the earring here and now let me zoom more so you can see the details because this is a must i'm going to grab my okay we need a minuscule nose and when I say minuscule, it's minuscule. Then we need 
two eyes obviously and you can put a little bit of blush and all kinds of other stuff and once again it's a good uh, idea to make yourself some semi this is too big to find the proper size semi holes for the eyes and then we can place the eyes there by the way I don't know how it is where you are but where I am we got ticks So we got the eyes and all we have to do right now is little toes here and there's our, our little rabbit how is going to hang on your ear lobe and of course you can make the ears longer if you want but it the idea is to look like a rabbit uh, if you want to work with um, cats obviously you're going to make the ear shorter and then you can make uh, the tail instead of being like this you're going to make a string attach it a little bit so this is if you want to make a cat and then bring it up so it wouldn't hang so this would be if you make a cat okay so let's go to the even more complicated and make a more realistic bunny so starting again with white So this would be for, uh, of course there are a lot of molds, you can use a mold and uh, the other good thing is that if you have a cat mold and I'm going to show you how you can work with that, if you, cat, uh, if you have a cat mold you can change it into a bunny out of this so I'm still keeping it a little zoomed in so this time we are going to start with about an inch bead and again I'm going to make it a little bit longer so that it would be easier to cut and once again half and half to start with first bead round it round it until you have no fold lines and then make it a little oval second bead second quarter so we have a half and here we have two quarters actually to be easier for you so one of the quarters I'm going to cut it in half and then one of the halves I'm going to cut it in a quarter and then it's going to be three quarters for the head And again, roll it until you have no fold lines. 
at all whatsoever. But this time, very gently wedge it. And then we can place it here. And not so much in a duck pose, so more towards the front. So not here like we did for the earring, but here. Oh, something st started sliding and I got like, oh my God, I have gremlins again. So the last quarter going to cut it in half and then again in half remember I still have this little piece here Round, round. First of all, cut one of the beads in half. Make sure it doesn't get, it gets more flattened on one side and not so flat on the other side. And place it on the side like we did for the For the earring so why I'm saying flat on one side and not so flat on the other side it should be kind of like this and place it on the other side so we have this and here you have to press press My clay is starting to get a little too warm. Okay, now this bead, we are elongating it and then cutting it in half. And again, I cut with the plant. <laughs> I'm telling you, I have no idea what's going on. Now, before placing, because you're going to place them with the cut part down, before placing with the cut part, cut part down, and then here, and then these are actually, uh, I'm cutting on the opposite sides. So this is actually the left and this is the right. So just a second, let me put some alcohol on my fingers because I'm my fingers start sticking to the clay. All right, so so I said this is the left. And you place it, see how I cut that, this angle, this angle goes near the body. But more towards the bottom than so pretty much like this. So this is the the basic of your little sculpture. Now we are going to bring these ones, uh, these other little quarter for the front paws. And again, make a bead, elongate it a little, a little more than this, cut in half in length, and then cut in half a 
like this. And once again, you want to cut the diagonal. And once again, it's going to be the opposite sides because this goes here and this goes here. So now that you got all your elements in place, your best bet is if you have an acrylic block or a tile or whatever it is, to place your little sculpture on it. And now you can start actually working on it. And you can use one of these silicone silicone tipped things. You can use a ball stylus that would work also. Let me make sure that I got the proper size. Oh God, I, I'm, I'm starting to hurt. You can use, a, as I said, the ball stylus to flatten, but I, I personally prefer the, the silicone tipped. to start making a little bit of fur. Let me zoom more. Mm, give me a second because I think I Need to check what did I topple. Oh. It was a bottle of resin, and this is not something that I want to be laying on my carpet. Okay, so. can go around and just do the fur and of course do a little bit of unification here keep going all over the little body so it doesn't look like an egg you want to verify it And of course you can, if you don't have one of these, you can definitely use a, a toothpick for the purification. Mm. 
the silicone tip will be smoother than the toothpick that is for sure now if you want to make a gray bunny you can afterwards go over it with your finger gently dipped in a little bit of lighter gray um, chalk pastel or acrylic paint to, so that you get only the raised parts and here also we want to go for the little fingers now of course we need a little cotton tail and for the verification of the cotton tail I suggest you first flatten it a little bit and then use a needle or gently lift very gently lift and do that before you place it because you're going to come on top of it and do another thing so but this is to get a little bit of it's almost like little hairs that will kind of go down once you press it into place so when you press it in place you can afterwards work it a little bit more but this time do not lift this time just go in gentle strokes like this so again this is not super duper extra realism so I'm not going to do a, a realistic thing in a live because those take a long time And once again, I'm going to make a little eye and you know that for this one, I'm going to use the, I'm going to put the um, ears the very last because they are the most delicate I need to remember from now on to start taking some Kraton before I about half an hour before I go live Yeah, when I saw these, I remembered the tick because I was uh, out in the garden. I uh, planted some dill and parsley and stuff seeds. And I learned my lesson when I work in the garden. I always wear uh, light colored pants and uh, harem type, you know, the ones with an elastic. And I saw one tick happily crawling up my pants. So I was like, it's not even that warm. We still went below 50 at night and you're already here. Okay, 
So. And of course I checked myself. Once I got in the house I checked myself. But there was nothing on me. Hopefully I won't find one later. So there we go, we have the... But on this one I'm not going to put any teeth. I'm going to simply do a little line here that goes to the sides like this like this and now we can do the ears and always you go towards the back and it's the same principle I'm going to cut this, my last remaining thing. I'm going to actually cut it in four and use only one fourth. Yeah, here it's mostly because of the squirrels. We have a lot of squirrels, but on the other hand, we have a lot of uh, possums too, so. Sorry, I forgot to make the teardrop. Um, but I need to go outside and at least in the former dog run, I need to do some weed eating. I didn't, I was, initially I was planning to do it this morning, but then after I found out last evening that it's Easter, I said, I'm gonna do it in the afternoon because just in case somebody decides to sleep later. You know okay so as before do the whole year thing and I finally finished installing everything that I wanted to install. I can start working on stuff because I can save it. I have external hard drives before my uh, my IT guy comes to move the whole thing. So I started working on stuff yesterday. There we go, and now we can start doing a little bit of smoothing. And I started hurting, so I'm going to start making a lot of mistakes. But uh, generally speaking, this is how it would look. And of course, you want to come and do some verification here as well. And uh, just as a matter of gentle advice, I if you do this kind of stuff, I wouldn't uh, varnish it. Because the moment you varnish it, it's going to start looking like a cheap piece of plastic thingy. But 
varnish just the eyes because that's going to make them nice and shiny and all that so and of course you can come with a little bit of blush uh, chalk pastel and all other kinds of things so this is these are the the basic on how to create various shapes of uh cute bunnies and i tried not to get too complicated as i said i went in uh, gradually in different degrees of um uh, complexity so that there would be something for everybody and the first one I can tell you kids love a lot and as you saw it's quite easy to make because you're using cutters and uh, that is pretty much it but before I go give me a second Where's my because I said I was going to show you how to change a um, cat mold into a bunny mold so simply getting some white clay here I would honestly go more for I would mix this half with ultralight hold on let me unzoom here I'm not going to go lighter so that you don't miss anything <laughs> thank you silver okay so hands not working that terrific find my cosmetic sponge We'll make sure that it goes in all places possible so this is one of the uh, I don't think you can find it anymore I know that I had a tutorial at one point these were some molds that Trish was carrying but she's not carrying them anymore. They were made by somebody in the UK. But there's all kinds of cat molds out there. So just to show you how easy you can change a cat mold into a bunny. And these are very deep so they are awesome for um, for magnets for fridge magnets okay so you want first to this is not a baking tile but let's pretend that this is a baking tile so you want to go all like this so you can flatten it so what you do first, obviously, we need to get rid of the tail. Yes, don't forget to thumbs up. So I'm going to cut right here. And 
here this is already verified okay so I'm going to cut so the first thing that you need to do is to cut the tail and reattach it a little bit higher than the cat tail would be then trim a little bit of this leg the leg normally would have in this case the leg normally has the tail on top of it so what I'm going to do is to just come with my needle and continue verification so this will become just the back leg And then here obviously we have I didn't it didn't come up very nice but as I said I'm starting to hurt so I wasn't able to press very hard so I'm going to place a little pink nose in the proper position if possible at all and of course we need ears so once again make a bead teardrop it cut in half shape the inside can you do a long fur long haired cat yeah you can because they are long haired rabbits just careful with the tail and then gently place the ears on top of the existing ones and you can move actually the ears a little bit And there's one more thing that you need to do change the chin make it all nice and round and fold the ears down and again you need to bring the ears way more inside so there we go because the bunny is not as triangular as the cat so you want to make the whole face a little bit rounder so there you go you can change a cat into a rabbit I make the ears made the ears a little bit too pointy
there you go and you can change the cat into a rabbit just as I said make sure that you make the face rounder um, generally speaking a long-haired cat mold is better because long-haired cats tend have the tendency to have rounder faces than short-haired cats that are more triangular and the uh, rabbits are round faced so you can even flatten it some more so we got a rabbit okay i hope you enjoy your easter i don't know if you have any egg hunt it's been a while since i did actually we had adult egg hunts but uh, i hope you enjoy it i'm going to go check on the weather and see how things are going i can hear there are not many kids in my neighborhood mostly my neighbors and i see some rain is coming over so you guys enjoy the easter sunday and if you have stuff to do in your yard enjoy that too i am going to lay down and then see if i can do some weed eating okay thank you so much and once again happy easter bye